Okay, how much work is done in lifting an object that weighs 250 newtons a height of 4 meters? Well, work done is equal to force times by distance. Well, our force here is 250 newtons. And our distance is 4 meters. So 250 times 4 is 1,000 and then joules. So if I was marking this, I gave it two marks. Probably either the formula, the calculation, and then maybe the units. So any two out of the three, you probably would have got a mark. At what rate is work done if the 250 Newton object is lifted at a height of four meters in four seconds? Well, it's not mentioned power, but the key word here is rate. And power is equal to work done over time. Now, we've already worked out what our work done was here. So we're going to do 1000 divided by 4. We get 250 watts. So again, I probably would have given a mark for the, uh, the uh, equation. Uh, 250 and then watts. So out of given uh, uh, you two marks if you just got two of them. A block of stones weighs 500 newtons. It is 20 meters pushed up a slope as shown in the diagram. Neglecting friction, how much force is needed to push it up the incline at a constant velocity? Well firstly what we're going to imagine is what if I had the box here and I just moved it up this way? Because I'm still doing work against gravity and it's going to be the same amount. So here the clue is they've given 500 so the work done just to get it up this distance here would be 500 times by 4 which is 20, sorry, 2000 joules. Now our chap here is going to have to use uh, he's going to have to use the same amount of energy but he's got a larger distance so he's going to use less force. So the force times by 20 is going to equal 2,000. So 2,000 over 20 is going to equal F, which equals 100 newtons. Now then it says how much work is done if it's pushed up the incline. Okay, well I kind of answered that before, which is 2,000 joules. How much work is done if we lift up the block vertically? Again, it's still 2,000 joules, it's the same amount because you're still doing work against gravity. Someone takes 11 minutes to walk up a hill 120 meters high. He's got a weight of 550 newtons. How much work does he do in climbing up the hill? Well, again, work done is equal to force times by distance. The force on him is 550 newtons. He goes up a distance of 120. So we're going to do 550 times by 120 gives us 66,000 joules. How many seconds does he take to climb up the hill? Well, we've got 11 minutes and there's 60 seconds in each minute. So 11 times 60 is 660, uh, sorry, six, yeah, 660 seconds. What power is developed? So power is work done over time. So we're going to have the work done which is 66,000 divided by uh, 660. And we get an answer of 100 watts. If he runs up the hill his muscles can develop a power of 500 watts. How long will it take him to get up to the top of the hill? Well, let's just think about the, the triangle. We've got power times by time and work done here. And we want to know time. So our equation, we're going to do work done divided by uh, power. So the work you'd have to do is 66,000 divided by 500. And we get an answer of 132 seconds. If you want to turn it into minutes, we would have 
2 minutes uh, 12 seconds. An electric motor is 75% efficient. It is used to raise, raise a weight of 1000 newtons, a vertical distance of 5 meters in 10 seconds. How much work must the motor do to raise the weight? Well, work done is force times by distance. The force is a thousand times by a distance of five meters, which is going to give us five thousand joules. What's the power developed by the motor as it raises the weight? Well, it's going to be the work done divided by the time taken, which is ten seconds. So we're going to be five uh, five hundred watts. Given the efficiency, a watt rate must be but must power be supplied to the motor. Well we know the power supplied times by its efficiency, which is 0 0.75, is 500. So the power going in is going to be 500 divided by 0 0.75, which is equal to 666 watts. What happened to the energy used to raise the weight? So if you notice uh, this value here is not the same as this value here. We're, we're missing some energy or each with each second. Where could that energy have gone? Well, maybe sound energy uh, or heat. The escalator at Highgate Underground Station transports people up and down the vertical height of 30 meters in one minute. How much work does the motor do so how much work does the motor of the escalator do in taking someone that weighs 750 newtons from the top to the bottom? Well remember work done is the force times by distance. Our force is 750 times by a distance of 30. We get an answer of 22,500 joules. Calculate the power developed by the motor as it raises, raises each traveller. So the power is going to be uh, work done divided by the uh, time taken. We took one minute and we need this value to be in seconds so we're going to say 60 and we get a value of uh, 375 watts. At busy times the escalator moves more than 120 people up the stairs every minute. What's the minimum amount of power required for the electric motors that will drive the escalator, assuming that each person is the average of 750 newtons? Well, we worked out the work done, sorry, the power developed for one person. So if we've got 120 people, this is going to be 120 times by 375. And we get an answer of uh, 45,000 watts or 45 kilowatts.